rowdier with a rowdy bunch of crowd be growling and all sounds around me insomnia act saw me on the track I'm bombed with this rap as long as I got songs I'm mentally intact cause my mental health needs plenty help and plenty wealth is what I need I barely have enjoyed this world this one is called should I write this rhyme I just saw this thumbnail and I was super intrigued man I, I just thought I'm gonna click this see what this is about I thought it's gonna be a message or something but when I saw when I played the few, first few seconds, the beat was playing and it was 3 minutes 56 seconds. I had to pause it, turn on the camera, so I, I might as well listen to it with the camera on to see what this is about because this is a, an actual song, right? Right, so... Yeah, so I've done a few videos of Harry before this. Uh, I just love his freestyle ability, man, and, and he's the GOAT when it comes to this kind of freestyling because there's nobody else who's doing it like he is with this kind of uniqueness. Anyway, um, let's get right to this. Let's go. Man, I don't know what I should do, man. Like, sincerely, man. I mean, I'm like genuinely confused, man. I'm like back and forth in my brain, overthinking this shit. For hours on hours, man. I've been thinking about this shit for the last few years. It's like... Uh, so I don't know if I should write this rhyme or not. Overthinking and sinking, shit got my mind so cocky. Right, so off, off the bat, man, I love the old school kind of beat and the flow that he's got going on here. I'm digging this shit. Let's go. Rhyme or not. Overthinking and sinking, shit got my mind so cocky. Cause part of me's like, yeah, dog, you should, of course. The poetry been getting better, and that's good, do more. But the other part of me asks, yo, why are you writing? It's the improvisational nature that makes it exciting. If you ain't providing clever shit, effortless off the head, how the fuck you expect to keep your competitive edge? Now, ah, shit. That was. That was. That was fire, man effortless off the head competitive edge the way he's put that together that was nice and i i kind of get what he's talking about here because he set the bar up so high for himself doing freestyles and it's like a constant pressure the next one even if it's freestyles the next one's got to be better the next one's got to have this 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 it's got to be more creative it's got to be something new and being so having that kind of exposure to the people in front of a live audience and millions on YouTube, there is this constant, there, there's got to be some constant uh, pressure that he's got to deal with, right? And now on top of that, he's like, okay, so if that's freestyles, what if I write songs? Now the written's got to be, the written song has got to be better than the freestyle, right? So it's like a loop that he's got himself into and because he set the bar up so high for himself, man. But, yeah. But this this competitive edge and effortless off the head, I like this shit. I like this shit. fuck you expect to keep your competitive edge? Now art's not a competition. Indeed, I'm aware. But it is meant to be received by people and shared. And I love the writing process, but can't lie, I get scared. If I ain't improvising, my fans are less likely to care. I take the good with the bad. So he's like, if he's not constantly up in his game, the fans are going to be like, oh, okay, man, they're not going to be feeling his shit as much, right? And of course, that's something that he's got to deal with, too. Now, talking about art not being competition, yeah, art itself might not be competition, but this specific art, hip-hop, I mean, it's clearly competition, man. It's competitive. It's competitive as hell, and that's what makes it awesome. Um, uh, because there is no other music genre with this kind of competition, with this kind of, you know, involvement. I don't think so. It's a blessing and curse to be impressing with no prep, just manifesting the verse. Mm. Now it's expected. I'ma make the microphone shatter off top. And if not, does my rhyme even matter? And yeah, I don't know if I should write this rhyme. I said, I don't know if I should write this rhyme. Yeah, Damn. And I don't know if I should write this I like this the old school rhyme. hook, man. It's like Ice Cube style. In a way, like this shit right off of the mind, but yo, I don't know if I should write this rhyme. Yeah, I don't know if I should write this rhyme. Uh, cause if I ain't blazing the lines while they throwing words and engaging, am I wasting my time? So I don't know if I should write this rhyme or not. I come with complex flow patterns right off the top, right on the spot. That should be sounding clean as a mop. Some of your favorite rappers heard it and was giving me props, but let me stop. Speaking of favorite rappers, I saw Ice Cube giving props on video. I'm not sure about. 
about anybody else though because I'm not like totally too active on social media or anything man apart from YouTube this is the only platform I use the most but I haven't seen anybody else I mean I'm sure I'm, I've missed it since he said it but anybody who's watching this knows this let me know in the comments which other rappers gave him props because one, for one I know Ice Cube did right I don't know about anybody else so let me know in the comments guys Saying this shit to brag, but nah. if I can kick lyrics live with minimal lag and still deliver high levels of complexity with some of the illest writers sitting right next hmm. to me. Well, the yeah. next logical question that follows is like, if that's his freestyle shit, how's he sound when he writes? And as much there as I go. want to leave expectations fulfilled, uh -huh. the fact of the matter is, dog, they two different scales. Are they related? Of course. Interwoven indeed. They both require rhyme, rhythm, metaphors, and speed. But all the pressure from assumptions that my written's the joint make me wonder if it's worth it what's the purpose no point i'm saying i don't know if i should write this rhyme yeah. I don't know if I should write this rhyme. Ay, said I don't know if I should write this rhyme. I stay exciting when providing lyrics right off the mind, but yo, I don't know if I should write this rhyme. Uh, said I don't know if I should write this rhyme. Yeah, cause if I ain't blazing the lines while they throwing words and engaging, am I wasting my time? Oh, what's the purpose of art? Is it just for applause? Is it meant to be perfect or is it better with flaws? If my freestyle L and I'm nice with the scale, yo, is the stale room for me to explore with the quick? Well, I know the magic of off top rhyme is real. It's a skill that crosses over and gets massive appeal. Some people say, no, I don't even like hip hop, but I'm amazed how you <laughs> get up right on the spot. And that's fine. Intended as a compliment, so I'ma take it. But in my heart of hearts, your hip hop is sacred. And yeah. creeping on the pen got me feeling kind of zen. Same tune that's been used by Nas, Kendrick, and M. I don't know if I should write this rhyme. But fuck it, I still wrote it And to me, that's not nothing nah, What's nah, the purpose nah. of art? Is it just to appeal? Nah. Regardless of medium, I speak on something I feel Y'all know the deal I don't know if I should write this rhyme yeah. I don't know. And I don't know if I should write this rhyme hey. I, don't know. So I don't know if I should write this rhyme I stay excited when providing lyrics right off the mind But yo, I don't know if I should write this rhyme Yeah, so I don't know if I should write this rhyme uh, Yo, stop playing, ain't no wasting your time Cause self-expression is valuable Valuable and I'm making it mine, so let's go. Wow, man. I just love the honesty in this song of his, man, because he's been dealing with this. He's been thinking about, just like you said, for the last few years. And instead of putting out just a video, a recorded message, because that's what it was, a recorded message. He, sa he said, I'm going to put this out on paper and put it out for the fans, man, because that's what it is. That's what hip-hop is. You can put out anything you feel like putting out, right? That's what art is, uh, this genre, right? And the funny thing is, his freestyles are more complex than this. I mean, the ones that I've heard. But but this song wasn't meant to have heavy punchlines or that kind of complexity. It was meant to have a message, meant to share his thoughts that he's he has this mini battle going on and the pressure that he's feeling that, okay, people think these are my freestyle skills, Imagine what he's gonna do if he has put, puts out a written song or something, right? And that's a fair question to ask, but if Harry, you're watching this, keep doing what you're doing with the freestyle, man, because nobody else is doing that, and I don't even think nobody would be able to do that or come even close to what you've got here. Uh, because that's like a unique lane that you've carved for yourself. And, of course, if you feel like putting out a song every now and then, you can, because that's what it is. Uh, if you feel like it, that's what matters, right? And this song right here, I really, really loved it because it was honest, honest as hell. And he didn't try to rap like anybody else. He stayed true to himself. Um, didn't try to be fast or whatever, just stuck with his own style, picked an old school beat. Or I don't know who produced this. Shout out to whoever produced this but he kept it true to himself is what I'm trying to say here, man. So I love this. Love this shit. Let me know what you guys think about this and what Harry is talking about in the song. What, do you, what, what are your thoughts on it? What are your thoughts on his, on his song? And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya. Bye-bye.